folks, well, a couple of weeks ago, I introduced you to this pet heat shrink tape and you saw me made a little cutter thing for actually cutting it. And if you haven't seen that video, well, I better put a link to the original concept in Russian up here and um, a link to my part one where you actually get to see me make this machine and how this heat shrink tape is actually produced. Um, but I don't feel the part one video really did it justice. It didn't show you quite how good this stuff is. And then last weekend, I bought a pair of these gigantic hand things for picking up grass clippings and leaves and that kind of thing. And the first time I used them, they broke. And I nearly took them back, but it was, uh, would have cost more in petrol than it cost to get them in the first place. So I actually used some of this pet heat shrink tape and it is so tough. It really is just fantastic stuff. Um, that's literally as strong as new. Look, it bends in the. Can we see that? There you are. The handle bends rather than the the crack, and I've just laced it together and heat shrunk that. And I'm going to show you quite how strong this stuff is because it really is rather impressive. So you can see here, I've just got it loops round and across itself and back, and it's basically two strands for each thing. But even that. Uh, quite happily hold my weight. No problem at all with that. Uh, so I'm rather impressed but I thought I'd have a go and see if I can get all the way from down there all the way up there because um, I want to clean that bit of roof anyway. So I'll go and cut some strips to length to make it easier to tie them all and uh, have a go at making a ladder. Okay, so uh, for my ladder I'm going to use my 7up variety uh, pet heat shrink stuff, plastic bottle stuff and just so we're sure what I'm doing here, this is 4.08mm uh, in width and I reckon that's going to hold my weight, 4mm of a plastic bottle. So I'm just going to show you uh, exactly how I'm going to tie these up clamp just to hold it there while I put this on. Probably get in the way. That'd certainly get in the way. Can get rid of that. In the middle there. Over that way. Back round here. And tie a knot in it and then I'll heat shrink that but I'm gonna do all the rest of them first to save turning the blowtorch on and off all the time so um, move you guys back out of the way and uh, I'll um, get some hurry up music on the go The theory is that uh, heating it up reforms the polymer chains and this is actually strengthening it as I heat these up as well as shrinking the tape. Well, oh, that one's broken, heated that one too much. Have to retie that. Yeah, I'm actually going to do this, aren't I? <laughs> okay, um, so I weigh, weighed myself this morning and I was 13 stone four and a quarter. And uh, that's 4.08 millimetres of 7-up bottle in those strands. Um, make sure that's all cooled down first. Yeah, I think I might be out of excuses. Okay, um, well, this is either going to work or you get to see me hurt myself. <laughs> Here goes. 
Um, better have some uplifting music. So far, so good. Not dead yet. Still here. You can see the wolf. Whoa. What's that one? Whoa. It works. Now I've got to get back down again. Oh, actually, I'm going to clean that roof off while I'm there. I'm up on the roof. There's kind of a problem with the length of my broom. But, look what else is on the roof with me. Isn't that handy? There we go, super broom. Perfect. You know, while I'm all the way up here, I can pick a few apples. Mmm. Oh, nice these ones. Very, very nice. I still can't quite believe I'm planning on going back down there yet. Mmm. Well, might make it down alive. We'll see. No. I think I should point out that Brock Hughes actually has his own stunt man. <laughs> okay, um, let's try not to injure myself. Hopefully not fatally. And just to see. Look. There we are. Thought that might happen. Okay, well, you see me go up it. You've seen me come down it, you've seen what actually broke and it wasn't the plastic bottle and just to prove there's no cheating going on. There really is no nails or screws or anything in any of this lot. There we go, back to firewood again. Well, what can I say? Keep those plastic bottles.